Hey y'all, it's your girl Ray. Most of y'all already know who I am, and if you don't, you will soon. So go ahead and stay tuned. So what I'm going to be showing you all today is a demo using these Coastal Scents Hot Pots. I built this palette on my own, and when I made this palette, I kept fall and winter in mind. Colors that I would like to wear during this time. And in this particular tutorial, I'm using some golds and greens as requested. And also, this is a fall tutorial. So, if you like to see how I got this look, stay tuned. So, starting off with this hot pot called Oktoberfest and their Bamboo Collection Eyeshadow Rush. I'm going to start off packing this in my outer V and in my crease. I'm going to work this up towards the brow. Moving on, I'm taking this color called Deep Roast, and I'm going to go right inside of that crease. Next, I'm taking prehistoric green and I'm going to put that in the front. So I'm just going to go back and do some layering and intensify the colors where I want them to pop more. And I'm still using the same brush. I'm very lazy, so I like to use the same brushes a lot too. And this brush, it picks up pigment quite well. So I've been intensifying this brown and I'm bringing it in all the way into my inner corner also. And I'm just going to go back and layer those background colors to smooth them out again and then I'm gonna add black. Now I'm going again with this black called incognito. I'm just deepening up this crease, tapping it on in there. And of course I'm gonna go back with those other colors to kind of soften up that harsh line again.
I'm going to take this color called Vibrant Lime Green and I'm just going to put that kind of in the middle of all that. Now I'm taking prehistoric green and I'm going to go right behind it. Now going back into that color of deep rose, I'm just going to put that on the end. Now I'm going to take python green and I'm just going to pack that right in the front and let it start to merge in <coughs> with that other green, that vibrant lime. Now taking some of their one step primer I'm just going to put some of that in my inner tear duct as well as a little bit on my lid. Then taking the Hot Pot Nectar, I'm going to put it right where I put that primer at as well as under my brow bone. So now I'll be taking the Jet Liquid Eyeliner by Coastal Scents and I'm going to wing this stuff out. If you like to see everything that I got from Coastal Scents, you should go and check out my previous video, the unboxing. So this concludes my eye tutorial. If you all want to stay and watch the speed through of my foundation routine, go right ahead. I went ahead and sped this up because you all can go and watch my foundation routine if you want details. But go ahead and watch your girl blend this out. I'm using a flat buffer from Shop Miss A. I've had this brush for years and it was only $2. Actually, no, it was $1. I lied. I actually just ordered some more finally. And of course, using that 16 hour camo concealer by e.l.f. I'm going to highlight under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and as well as my chin. So whenever I'm blending out my concealer, I like to use a buffing brush just because that really makes sure everything is nice and smooth. You won't see any lines where you began at all, but whenever I get under my eyes, I like to go in with an actual blending sponge because it's a bit softer and I know that it's a lot more concentrated and I can get directly in those corners where my brush simply just cannot reach. Also, update, these are the sponges that I got off of Amazon. It came in a pack about five, and I want to say it was like $9. When I tell you, girl, this sponge is so damn soft, I got pissed. I was like, I should have been on Amazon. Like, it's even better than the freaking Real Techniques. 
I want to say I might even like it better than the Beauty Blender if I got to keep it real. But I'm I'm just saying. So to find that sponge, look up Beaky on Amazon. I shall leave it in the comments if someone decides they want to look it up. So using that crayon case chalk dust setting under the eyes, you already know. I recently just started using a brush for this. I used to strictly swear by my sponge. But lately, I've been using a brush for the past week or so, and I'm not going to lie, I've been really appreciating the results of this. I'm just going to finish off the eyes with some green. I'm I went ahead and added some Ben Nye Neutral Set on top of that crayon case chalk dust just to give me a little more oomph, you know, a little boost. And because I bought this huge, gigantic canister of it and I've just been having it. So jumping into this Coastal Scents blush palette, I'm going to be taking this color called Rosebud. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that on my cheeks. And then I'm going to take this color called Bronze Protégé. So I'm going to take this bronzer called Elusive Dawn. So for lips, I'm going to be using this Coastal Sense lipstick in number 7, and funny that's my favorite number, and this clear lip gloss, so let's get it popping. Now your look is complete. Let me get out some close up. Now some space back. <laughs> Hold it. Elegant, classy, sexy. You know, you know, you know. But I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next, as always.